And hey, folks, this is Paranormal Albany, the Dresden Files stream where we ask the important questions. Do you have your socks on? Just sharing a little bit of the, uh, the talk before the stream, um, talking about cold feet and socks, but getting back into what we where we finished last week. Um, let's see. The big bad, um, yeah, basically the big bad named Matt, uh, who was named, who took the name Master, also took the name Roger. Uh, he had been, uh, he had been killed. Uh, yep. He was dead. Uh, Hugo, having, pushing, pushing himself to the limit and pushing the seven laws of magic to the limit, uh, was also unconscious. Uh, Sydney uh, had been whisked out Whisk. of the facility um, Make it by romantic. yes, by Casiers, <laughs> by Casiers, <laughs> by the. Uh, I swept them off his feet. Yes, literally. Yeah, with the <laughs> with the oak branches uh, that. Uh, <laughs> From that Kassir as that Kassir sprang um, from the old wood uh, that was previous the two hundred old wood that was previously thought dead, uh, she put new life into it. Uh, Hugo is being held up above the floor uh, by those same branches. Scarlet, who I was the, get him and me out of here. Yeah, Scarlet, who. Uh, well, what is, is Scarlet standing over uh, the master right now after finally dispatching him? Um, and what is what is the what is Scarlet? Where's where's Scarlet at now, Christina? Well, she's just off to the side, um, watching Sydney be flung away from her. Watching Sydney have Sydney luck. Right. And she's very hungry, so she's not focused on anything but satiating that craving. Okay. Um, all right, so there is a body squirting blood right in front of you. Nice. Is that person alive? Um, it's tough to tell. This is the master. So it's you, you've definitely done enough damage. Um, to finish him off, but let me do a quick roll. And then you get to decide if you, you know, note it, if you're capable of uh, figuring out. Let's see. He, that I rolled an 11, a six and a five for his double his body. And now, Oh, okay. So he didn't be that kind of night. Yeah, yeah apparently. Uh, <laughs> he definitely did not beat his saving throw. Um, um, so yeah, he's <laughs> well, actually, his first one. His first one right now is he is definitely he is definitely going downhill uh, rapidly. Um, and his blood is squirting up into your face from an arterial cut. Perfect. Uh, it's like drive through for Scarlet. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> is Scarlet is Scarlet trying to resist drinking it? Not at this point, no. She's yes. she's trying to lap it up. Okay, all right. But that, but she's finding it hard to stop. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. So, and uh, Kazir, you are doing the, you're doing the floating above the ground on the branches thing, right? Yes. And we're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Okay. 
So. I'm not getting between a vampire and her meal. Sydney might use dump her. Mm. Sydney has been yelled out of the room. Mm. Yeah, that, that decision has been taken away from me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not very bright. Uh, so, okay, so I'm going to give us... Uh, what's Scarlet doing? Um, well, she, she is over him, and she's getting closer and closer to an exposed part of his body, probably where that cut is. Yep. Hoping that her fellow team members know that she doesn't want to actually turn into a red court vampire hoping that she has some kind of relationship with any of them that they will stop her if not they will be the first red court vamp scarlet will kill <laughs> mm. okay yeah right. so that okay so that's what you're doing um i only got to i can't help Right, you you go. You're. you're I'm flying through. No, no, I, I don't know exactly what I'm. Doing. <sighs> yes, you, you're drooling. So consider what. Set up the what are you doing? Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, this is gonna end poorly for me, no matter what I do. Uh, let's see. Straight up stopping Scarlet is likely not going to happen. Let me check my... <laughs> I have zero plot points. Stopping, stopping Scarlet straight up is not going to happen with the dice I've got. Uh, it might come close, but... Uh, so she's just going to kind of like... Stop for a second. Just like pinch the bridge of her nose. Make like a shooing motion. And a couple of the vines are going to reach out and like grab the... It looks like a corpse by the ankle and just like yank it out from underneath her. There was a uh just kind of do the whole yeet thing in a different direction. Yep. There was a plot point gift in chat for Cesare to help out. Oh yes, I need that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me mark that down. I'll probably gonna use it right now though. Uh so yes. Magic yeeting is happening. Okay, so you are trying uh, to yank the, the yank the corpse yeah. out. From underneath Scarlet. Okay. Um yep. go ahead. Go ahead and give me uh yeah, that would be your, your magic roll. Yeah, let me just give you my complications real quick so that you can go ahead and add those to the difficulty roll. Cause I've got a D12 overconfidence, a D6 influenced, and I'm not sure if the injury will come into play, but I think so. That's also a D6. Yep, the injury will come into play. Yeah. Okay. Uh all right. So actually, the easiest thing to do for that will be, um, all right. So go ahead and make your roll to 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 yank it away. Um, the actual difficulty is actually the, those complications actually go to actually you also have a d10. You and you get an extra d10 for that because essentially this is against Scarlet. Oh, You're trying to was trying not to go directly against Scarlet because I know well, it'll end poorly. <laughs> well, the, 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 it's fine. The reason it's against her is that she's going to grab onto the body. Yeah, I get it. I get it. All right. Um, uh, so mental, mental focus, druid. Yep. G twelve, D eight, D eight, and then an extra D ten. And Christina, you get your. Um, you know, physical fight, vampire, um, thing, plus another D12 and two D6s. <laughs> At least she can't say I didn't try. That's right. No. Uh, okay. Do I want to step it? So, as they're calculating out their totals, I forget. Can you choose to take lower die results? Or does the system force you to always take the highest two? I think in this case, you always take the highest two. The best thing, the only thing you can do is you can, you could decide to stage down it. You can it. step down. You could step down it. And uh, Cesare also got a Actually, copper gift to help step up a die. Uh, I am going oh, to... people like me tonight! <laughs> <laughs> 
They just want to live to see you. I'm using them on Friday. More. We haven't oh, had our official so Christmas episode up. yet, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we have the uh, call. Okay, We've... so I'm. So that uh, that step up would step up from like a distinction to it from a D8 to a D12. No, D10. Okay, so it would just step it up that way. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure. That's fine. I'm stepping up. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I don't want to look. Okay, so you got a... Right now, you're <laughs> at 17. Not a bad roll, all in all. 17's actually pretty, you know, reasonable. Yep. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and make uh... your roll, Scarlet. No, Can fa I... fail your roll. Fail your roll, Scarlet. Well, I'm just saying, I'm gonna because I have six plot points total, but I've used three. Can I yep. step down two of my dice to get two back? Um, or just one, just one because of the distinction. So you can step down your vampire distinction. Okay, I did. Okay, yeah, you can do that to get another back. Okay, so five, four. All right. Let's see. Come on once. Just kidding. I don't want to watch. Oh, man. Wow. Because oh. I know my luck and I know Scarlet's luck. Oh, it's only a 13. With two ones. <laughs> Are you rolling like me now? I guess. It's what is this? My turn hey, to roll. I keep hoping for once, okay? I want to see Scarlet go out due to overconfidence. Not Scarlet. <laughs> right. Damn it, oh, no, I'm doing it. Scarlet's already <laughs> overconfident. She doesn't need any help. Hey, a roll like that reminds me of the good Roger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um... I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you a D eight. A D eight fixation, on fixation on playing with your prey. Oh, great! Something, something, <laughs> something yanked. Your 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 prey just you know so, like, got yanked predator? out from under you, so you okay. got to start following it. Okay. So I'm leading her around like a cat with a dead mouse. That's pretty much it, yeah. She's she's you know just hey. she turned and followed it. Um she's a uh, but she's a uh... <laughs> Just so you know, Scarlet has full memory when this happens yeah. and she calms down. <laughs> well, she was going to be pissed at me whether I did nothing or not. <laughs> Yeah, like this way, you're not yeah. pointer, right? As well as a super soaker, <laughs> right? Okay, well, I am running after it. Or okay, vampire lurching. All right, so your next thing would be to uh, wow. Um, How do I wake up Hugo? <laughs> <laughs> make uh, something to make her less vampire y. <laughs> Oh, I mean, fairy tales, you the kiss wakes people up. <laughs> so, uh, uh, other than that, you might need Hugo to wake Hugo up. Uh, also true. What about Rio? Could Rio help us? Do we even is know Rio where Rio still is? Here? I don't know. Is he dancing among his fans? <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, I'll get to him. I'll get to him in a minute. Okay. Uh, because so, Sarah knows basically what psychometry is just because of the root words and whatnot. So she's like, she doesn't even think of him as a solution. No, no offense, Rio Bell. Uh, so, uh, Christina, what is, what's, Scarlet's chasing it. She's going to try and dive at it, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give me your, give me your pounce roll, which, you know. Great. It's a roll off again. Would be vampire. Yep. Vampire. Yep. Uh, and you did get two plot points for that last one. Right. Uh, or I got one, right? Did I give you... Oh, no, wait, because you got... Uh, so you stepped it down, so that's one for a plot point, and then you got uh, complication. 
for the yeah, one, yeah, which two. gives you another. Yeah, actually, oh, so you okay. end up you ended up with three after that one. So yeah. Okay. God, give me some, please. So I have six now. That's yep. great. I just need to roll some ones, please. Okay, so roll my vampire, mm -hmm. and then my fight. Yep. And my physical. Um. Right. Yep. Okay. Did you do you have to roll? I'm trying to think of how the actually, because I was just trying or to yank it to get away. I'm just, I yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, you're gonna have to. She's. We're playing keep away right now. That's what we're doing. I'm playing keep away with a vampire much, and her food. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you're gonna have to do the same, but you get another an extra D8. Uh, D8. Ava and uh, uh, Scarlet, you get the extra D12 and two D6s. Okay. So she goes first. We're... It doesn't really matter who goes first. Okay, I'll go. Okay. You can say, I went first last time. <laughs> I need to know how screwed I am this time. <laughs> it's not showing me. Okay, let me do this. <laughs> oh my god. Well, actually, looking at it, those ones aren't ones. What are they? It's weird. Looking at the roll, this is where it's uh, the the roll and roll twenty has it completely oh, yeah, different. Oh, it does that sometimes. Yeah, it'll do that. It'll do that. And the I think you know what at that point, go ahead and reroll. Okay. Just hit the button again. I was like, is something magical happening? Well, sometimes it'll get. Sometimes the die will get bounced or whatever. Okay. Uh, I'd rather you not have rolled that again. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, it was okay. Crazy. So no, so no ones, and you got a nineteen. Okay, <laughs> okay. Casera, go ahead and do your roll. She can't say I didn't try. Yep. <laughs> Technically, I could, in theory, beat it. I did That's, not. You did not. that roll. That's even. a thirteen. <laughs> That's a 13. Yep. So, okay. So you, you are able to, you are able to pounce on it. Okay. Uh, give me, I'm going to do, I'm going to do his, his last death save, which could, in theory, he could still. Oh, wow. Wow. He is still clinging on to life. Just barely. So he's still alive. I need to decide. Well, I okay. have the complication of being that I'll follow it, but I've caught it. So do I still have that complication? No, I will give it that you lost, that you've passed up that complicated, that you've, um, that you've caught it. Um, she's now very upset that Kassar tried to take her food. Yep. Kassir so, does... He was going to be upset at me either way. Kassir does get an actual action, though, so what are you doing now? <sighs> well, whatever I do, it's going to come back to bite me, hopefully not literally. Uh, So she's going to... Instead of trying to take the food away, because that just seems to be pissing off the vampire, uh, she's instead going to use one of her, the, the vines, or whatever they are, and, and, and <laughs> this could go very poorly for me. She's gonna try to slap some sense into her. her you know, just the sharp, what? try and bring her, just bring her back a little bit, some, knock some sense into her. You can't say I didn't try. That is true. Okay. Is um, the roll of the same? Yeah, actually, well, what are you using? To, what are you using to slap some sense into her? Oh no, it's one of the vines. I'm not getting. I'm not getting that close to her. She's using okay. Sydney. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Sydney's out of the room already. It would have to be Hugo. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. no, it's just one of her Hugo, vines. That's, actually, it, so one of the one of the vines, that was, vines uh, that was grabbing on his okay. One of the vines that was grabbing his ankle just releases and just kind of goes thwack. <laughs> okay, you're actually whip. Okay. All right. Not like uh, trying to hurt her, just that sharp sting of just get some clarity just right across the face. I'm sure there's nothing behind that slap. Well, oh, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Um, Scarlet, go ahead and... Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just, there's so many plastic complications. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, right. Kasir, you get to you get to do your role, but you also and you also get the the uh, the D ten for hunger. Mm -hmm. Yay! I just got a gold gift. I'll take it. Uh, just for the Bulbasaur comment I made in chat. <laughs> That's a sixteen. The best I can do. I rolled highest on my two lowest dice. <laughs> um. Okay, so um, Scarlet, you get to do the whole, the whole thing, and you again get the two, the two d sixes and an extra d twelve. I have a question. I, I need to get rid of those. Yep. If Scarlet first wanted to pull, would it be two actions or one? If she wanted to pull out her knife, finish off the master, and then jump at Kassar, is that two actions? That's two actions. Yeah. Okay. Um, she's going to jump at Kassar. Okay. You're just going to ignore the whip that comes at you and let you hit it? it? Oh, I totally <laughs> forgot about it. That's right. Yeah. It slapped me in the face. Yep. Did it hit so, me in the face? I'm trying well, to. Well, you well, haven't rolled yet. Roll. You haven't rolled to see if you catch it. She's going to catch it. Watch. You got to beat a 16 to catch way it. knowing the way you roll. Right. Ooh. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now she's really pissed. That's an eighteen. That's an 18. <laughs> and strangely enough, it was it was that D twelve overconfidence that pushed it over the that 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 allowed her to beat it. Okay. So you I'm grab fucked. it. You grab it. Uh, you're gonna let the let the master just sit there, or you gonna are you gonna jump at Casar this round or next? Next round. So, can I grab it and stab? Yeah, you grabbed it. Okay. You grabbed it, yeah. grabbed a hold of it, and then go ahead and, uh, uh, you know what? It's not, he's not, he can't fight. Um, and you're going to stab. Um, so, I'm just going to take care of that. Let's just see. Hugo must really be passed out that all this has kept him still sleeping. <laughs> so actually it's it is impossible for me to beat. So he does pass on. So he so is he, dead. Hugo got pretty uh pretty effed up. I was gonna say Hugo's not asleep. He Hugo's unconscious. Yeah. There's a slight difference. Yeah. Um the ma yeah, the it's also a matter of just he been in captivity for three months. Right. Um, wasn't treated perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, you've got... Uh, okay, so he's dead. Uh, Kassir, uh yeah. you whipped her and she grabbed it like it was nothing. Uh, well, fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> nuh -uh. you're, you're just... Okay, so what? describe what you're doing. Uh, how does the roof stability look where I'm at? The ceiling, rather. It's a tall building, so the stability is actually still pretty good. I mean, it's not... No. The stability right now is fair, but it's a pretty big building and tall. Mm. So it would take a lot to to make the whole thing cave if you're looking to go out the out there that's actually quite a bit of distance however it would get you out of scarlet's reach yeah that's kind of the important part um so what i imagine happening here is 
uh, roots or the vines, whatever we're calling them, uh, mm -hmm. just kind of go up through the ceiling where she's at and just kind of rip out and she's lifted out. Um, where you actually are, there is no ceiling. Fuck. It's, it's, it's like, no, it's like, it's, it's a, it's a, uh, tall manufacturing facility. Mm -hmm. So it's basically open air for a couple for, um, I think I said, I'm trying to think, I think it's, yeah, it's open air for the next 30 feet. You know, when the beams going up and everything to support the roof. So yeah, your vines can just, you know, pull you straight up. I just have this bad vision of Scarlet just scaling the vines. <laughs> Is that fear that I hear? In a little voice? bit. <laughs> <laughs> Would you not be? <laughs> uh, okay, so... And there's not like a window where we're at, right? To the outside? Um... <sighs> Yeah, I'm trying to get the image in my head, and it doesn't work very well because I don't form images in my head. Okay, yes, there are there are on like towards the top of the top of the next story. There are okay. windows there, right? And so, different image is forming now. Uh, vines go up mm -hmm. and out the window. <laughs> I'd like to okay. not be here. Okay, you're you're crashing out of the second story window. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting the fuck out of here. All right. Okay, so you're just setting your body. And if up. I could bring the guys if I could bring the guys along with in the same action, I would like to do that. You'd definitely be able to bring Hugo with you. Okay. In the same action. I Sydney am was right still conscious, well. wasn't he? What? Sydney Sydney's was already conscious, outside. Right. Sydney, okay. Yeah, Sydney's maybe, crunch is outside. Maybe not be conscious. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Um, <laughs> Tossed out. I'm probably on top of my own car. I didn't throw you. Yeah. Yet. Right. I, I thought you did. I'm basically right. throwing myself right now <laughs> through the goddamn window. Okay. Let me give you a difficulty for that. Uh, I'm so glad I've got that plot point. <laughs> I'd like uh, to not be bitten for a second time. Let's see. Okay, so that's three D12s. Um, <laughs> oh, man, I am not happy. That is not As enough. Aaron so helpfully pointed out, I am self-defenestrating myself. <laughs> 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 that is you guys can't see the last the the third d12 um but uh that was so only a four 15. so i got a 15 total okay oh what are my dice looking like i really really need to work, get rid of some of my uh complications uh okay so my d12 for mental d8 focus and d8 uh, okay. Uh, do I use a plot point now to stage it up, or shit? Okay, no. Uh, that was a fifteen. I'm rolling against. We're gonna see how the bones lay. Throw the bones. Oh. 12 on a d12. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go ahead and spend my plot point to roll my d8 polka die that I've got so now, that I can not just meet it, but beat it. Okay. Before you did that, I'll, I'll roll it back. You could have actually just used, since you tied with me, mm. you could have just oh, added yeah. in that too, rather than yeah. this. Now, as it ends up, you it equals out. So yeah, I, I was willing. I was willing to risk that because I knew. Uh, yep, you I do get. You get back another polka die. Yes. What because size is it? Uh... Oh, that would be a D twelve shoot. Okay. Yes, I stay. I. I, I 
I spent that for one hire, although now I don't have any plot points to use. Right. It. Yep. <laughs> you it cost you a plot point. I'm I'm willing to accept that trade. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, so, all right. Well, so you are. <laughs> so you and uh, Yeet. You and Hugo are hanging out of the second story. Um, that's safe. It's fine. I've got us. Um. Okay. So. And Hugo will never know. Um. Sydney. At that moment, Hugo wakes up. I mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? You've got the wind blowing in your face, change to the environment. Um, can your, can Hugo's double body possibly beat that? Uh, a 20? Yes. No, I have D8 in physical. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you're still unconscious then. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Don't have to worry about him panicking. Yes. Um, Sydney. You got a copper gift, though. Sydney, you, uh, you were swept out of the place on with by oak branches. Um, hey, there are a lot worse branches that you could have been swept out oh, of there. Yeah. On. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Glad it wasn't like poison very ivy green. or yeah. hell bamboo would have hurt more. Uh, <laughs> Hawthorne would have been particularly nasty. Uh, but um, so you wake on the street. I don't, Thomas, you able to go live or? Yep. <laughs> yes, so I am now live, and the voice should screen. go through. Okay, uh, just a quick check. Chat, could you tell us if uh, you heard Thomas's voice? The other Thomas, not this Thomas. I'm still here and around. Tell me if you can hear me. I think he's in there. Um, I'm guessing he can't hear you. Um, oh, no, he does hear you. Yeah. Roger says yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you, folks. We're just getting used to doing some stuff with tech. Um, <laughs> appreciate it. Okay. So, um, Rappel, you uh, you see um, a tree or the branches of a tree um, basically propel Sydney out of the building through a wall that had just been opened up. By some more branches of a large tree. Um, uh, what do you What do you do? <clears throat> He's just gonna stand there, slack jaws, and his, his whatever he was smoking fall from his mouth, and he's like, "Whoa!" And he just snaps out of it and starts running towards the guy who just fall down on the ground. Like, you, you okay, man? Uh... He goes to reach for him, and he stops himself. And that thing is like, "Ah, uh, doesn't know what to do." So I landed on the ground, right outside. Um, so I'm going to go to try to stand up and probably crack my back as I go and stand up. Yeah, I believe. What complications do you have right now? Uh, well, I had a, a D6 no patience, uh, a D6 getting in Scarlet's way, uh, and a D10 bruised. So. Oof. Okay. So I was already in a bad state physically. So. Yep. <laughs> well, you're no longer in Scarlet's way. Right. Yep. Okay. Now I am. Okay. So go ahead and give me a double physical to stand, or give me a physical and move to stand up. Oh, I prefer double physical. But... Yeah. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody does. Apparently, I got to learn. Some more cardio to get move <laughs> increased. Oy. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Solid three. Is that that's good? Great right? start to the night. All right. Okay. Do you have plot points? 
do I have plot points? Um, no. No. <laughs> I, I, I have polka dies, but oh. uh, they're just teasing me because I don't plot have plot points, points to use them. To use them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I did not spend my plot points wisely. That is why okay. I'm in my situation. Um, now you do. You do have a plot point. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh. You stumble. Um, he's gonna fall and hurt himself. Uh, Rio, do you uh, do you go in and grab it, help him up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Now I know that your coat was made into in a sweatshop. I'm sorry, man. Um, <laughs> no, you actually see. You see images. Oh. You see images of. Of Sydney. Sydney. Sydney dyeing his coat in blood. Taking in, you know, you could see him wringing the blood back out of his um. of his clothes. Um and this almost Maniacal grin on his face as he does so. Uh, Rio Pell is gonna just <clears throat> help him up and then freeze in his place, letting him basically he's just frozen as he has the vision. I hope it helps him uh, get back up uh, yep. on his own. But once yep. like he, he snaps out of it, he's just gonna push him back up and then step back a few steps and yeah. look at him in bewilderment. Looking up and down, looking traumatized. Um, you have a D six complication now, Sydney. What the hell did he see? That's what kind of preoccupying. Yeah. Yes, that you just want to know, or right. you're not sure you want to know. It's tricky. What the hell, Rio? That's what I'm right. Yep. Yes. What the hell, Rio? That's a good. <laughs> that's a good complication. Like, yeah, that's a good one. Thanks. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, uh, I think I broke a rib. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be oh, all right. Is uh, what's going on with the others? And he looks and sees the madness coming out of the building. He's like, oh, yep. uh, and he starts yeah, yeah, walking yeah. back. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see that just as the glass a little bit farther down. So you, you're not gonna get glass dumped on you. Um, but you know the the second story window shatters. And you see uh, Kassir, uh with Hugo's body going out it. Um, Scarlet, yeah. uh, you were going to launch yourself at Kassir. You saw her basically go to the uh, thing. Are you still chasing her up the, the, the branches? Yes. Okay. Uh, um, all right. Go ahead. That would be... Actually, that's just a, that's really just a climbing maneuver. So let me, um, Fuck. let's see, let me figure, let me set the difficulty for you. Um, that's really just three D10s. Oh, three D10s. Yep. Yeah, it's just, just three D10s. That's not. That's, that's okay. Literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So I can roll my vampire. Yep. I'm going to use a plot point to step it up to a d12. And then I get my move and my fight or um, physical and fight. Yep. Uh, physical and move. What am I at? I have a uh, I have a polka die D six and D eight. I think I'll use the D eight. So I rolled I rolled a four rolled fourteen. 
I rolled a 14. Yep, a D8 could a D8 could do it. Well, and I mm. have a D6 also. Can you use more than one polka die on one roll? I think generally we've said only one. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with only one. Okay. I will say that you got <sighs> you got up. You couldn't you haven't been able to reach her yet, but you are within you are you are keeping pace. Keeping pace, yes, because you almost got because I rolled a 14, you rolled a 12. Yeah. Yeah. So you've you've made it to the second floor. You can now see her. Okay. Well, not for very long. Well, um, you'd still be do able to you, see her yeah. Do you say anything when you're up there? When you get up there? Yes. Go I'll ahead. say, um, would you like to come over for tea? No, I would say <laughs> uh Kassir, stop running. Eat you. Yeah. That's what I'll yell. And then don't run. Don't yeah, run. There. So uh, bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> bring it in. There. Response to that. Uh you can fuck off until you're less hungry. And then she's just going to literally leave the vines where she's at, and she's going to just leap off of them and sprout new ones beneath her to catch her. Just like completely leave the ones behind to just wither away, crumble, whatever they do when I stop maintaining them. Like and an earth bender. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and she's going to like jump from the second story and pray to God she's strained enough to catch herself. <laughs> okay. So at this point, uh, I'm going to give it that um, uh, Sydney does. <laughs> you guys have, you guys have uh, stated your stuff. Um, you go still, you go starting to drool now. Um, uh <laughs> Sydney and Ray Apple, what are you guys doing? Oh, I'm so fired. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you people? What is this? Uh, she's a you go. druid. She's a vampire. There's things. I'm still learning a lot a, of it a myself. A vampire? What? I don't There's, know, man. And you just... Uh... And I... What? I'm I'm just a parole officer, man. That's all. Yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah. You you say that, and he frowns and looks back. What the hell does like, that what, mean? What are you? Uh, I mean, I I was also a helicopter pilot. I mean, he rubs like, his forehead. And he's like, I uh, and a I guess no time. And a doctor and a veterinarian and whatever else a Kendall has been. <laughs> yeah. And a partridge and a pear tree. Yeah, he's 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 going in he's going to Buckaroo Bonsai territory here. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um okay. So at this point, um uh, Um let's see. I try to catch okay. Hugo if he falls. Okay, you're getting yourself oh, shake. caught up. <laughs> she might have completely forgotten about him. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Um, he looked kind of precarious to begin with. Yep. Okay. You're getting yourself squat up, set up to catch you go, uh, which is good because I can uh, probably survive this fall. <laughs> it's only two stories. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say this happens simultaneously, but go ahead, Scarlet. Uh, go ahead and um, roll your roll your jump, your leap at Kazair. I haven't made my action since she's climbed my roots. It was my action. You broke out the thing as she chased you up the roots the same action. So I'm going to, I was going to say that she's jumping at you basically as you're letting everything drop. Let's see. Vampire. I'll stage it up. So Just I'm still I fucked. Necessarily. <laughs> Um, and then, okay. Okay. So you got a 15. Yeah. To jump at her. Yeah. Um, all right. Kassir, go ahead and, uh. Actually, at this point, it's just. Mm. 
letting your control of the vines go is nothing. Um, so hatching you that is, so go ahead and give me, um, my magic roll. Nope, it's a mental plus focus roll with my druid. Uh, not with your druid. The, we'll do the we'll do the we'll do the stuff about catching you in a second. There was a slight sound of desperation in that tone of voice. Yeah, and more confusion than anything. I... Okay. Um, it's more that basically you're just letting everything go as, but to see if you to see if you maintain your con to see if you to see if Scarlet doesn't star startle you into stopping as she pounces. Wow, okay. Yeah, Okay. Um Go ahead and give me your magic. Um yeah, go ahead and give me your magic roll. Um uh for my magic. Um, uh, I'm going me, to go ahead. Let me set the difficulty, but go ahead and figure out what you're going to do. Oh, well, I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take an unintended consequence to gain a complication uh, to roll as a d12 instead of a d8. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to pour all of my effort and energy into getting the fuck away from the hungry vampire. <laughs> I can see those tattoos. I know you're hungry. Okay, I did not mean to roll that. <laughs> I, I hope you didn't mean to roll 2d20. We're about to lose Ava forever. <laughs> I'd be fucked. <laughs> I have no idea why the d20 rolled. That's... All right, give me what, two seconds here, and I will set hey, your... Hey, I've got a copper. What is that? That's a... Step up. Copper is the step up. Ooh, could I step up my d12 to a d20? I might need it. Hoppers coming back. You can't step up to a D20, no. That's only special situations. This seems uh, like a special situation. Crusader's about to die. Oh, uh, crap. Okay, <laughs> so what did I roll? <laughs> uh, That's a 17. 17, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. All right, 17, but you, but you could stay, but you could... But somebody could use a plot point to stage down a complication. One of the lucky fuckers with plot points. You know what? I will burn a plot point to stage down my... Uh, can I stage down the d20 injury so I'm starting to groggily wake up? Yes. I'll give you that. <laughs> All right. Down to a d12. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you can give me a complication because I... Uh, I'm yep. taking a complication to stage up my druid, yep. and I'm gonna use that free that 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 copper reward that I got. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, and stage up my D8 focus to a D10. So two D12 and a D10 to be to seventeen. Ooh, what I get? <gasps> Good. <That's a> one. <laughs> <laughs> It took okay. everything I got. Okay. Uh, all right. So you're dropping. Just as you're dropping, Kassir does manage to latch her hand on your clothing. Scarlet. Scarlet. Sorry. Oh, I was like, what? She's now chasing me? Nope. Ah, wow. Well, okay. Good. I swapped. Um, <laughs> okay. What happens? Yeah. Well, you both, it's multiple C names. I mix, mix them up. Um, but they're not. Yes. There's they're only not. one C name, and that's mine. No, there's Christina. There, Scarlet. What you said, Scarlet? Me. Yes, I know. I, <laughs> you know, I was trying to come up with an with an actual like, you know what? I'm reason. <laughs> yeah, I was actually coming up with a plausible, you know, mental reason for me to have, have done that. Reason. But that's that's it. So here's here's the here's the narration. You go drops. Um. <laughs> Uh, Kassar drops. As Kassar is dropping, she gets 
snagged by Scarlet, and Scarlet as Scarlet is going by, and is kind of yanked out of yanked out of position slightly. However, uh, Scarlet does. Uh, Scarlet just manages to grab your clothing. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, you do manage to, you catch yourself successfully on the stuff, but it's a little bit, of, but being dragged to the ground by Scarlet, it's a rougher landing than you expected. So from the one you did before the other, uh, do you have, you've got an injury one, don't you? Bruised or injured? Yeah, I've got a D. Oh, I've just got a D6 injury. Right. So that, that gets, so you get uh, two plot points and that gets, no, you get one plot point and that gets staged up to a D10 injured. So I succeeded and still got fucked. Mm-hmm. You're on the ground, though. You're get, you've got <laughs> solid ground underneath you at this point. Um, Sydney, go ahead and give me um, a physical a physical and a move. And can uh, Riopel help him just yep. to just give him a boost uh, or something? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to give... Yep, so also take... And you also add another D8 onto that. Oh. Uh, as you two are trying to catch, catch Hugo. Oh, before we go too much further, was part of that raising to a D10 the um, pushing myself? Or yes, the that was part of it, thing? yeah. Yeah, okay. that was part of it. Just making sure. Yep. Would I be able to add police officer into this to save someone's life, potentially? Yep. Okay. You can... That'll at least give me another die to roll, because I know I need all the dice I can get. <laughs> okay, that's right. I actually have to roll this. Probably no. just get four complications from this. But, uh, no, I have a good no, feeling, hey. Sydney. Ten. You have a ten? <laughs> okay, let me roll the... Um, the D4 did better than two of the D8s. Yep. All right, so you got ten, but the difficulty was two ones. <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, Sydney, you get to, um, you get to buy down a, uh, you get to buy down complications if you want to. Yeah, but, but with plot points, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, I only yeah. have one. Okay. I don't know if I want to buy down anything. I would love for me catching Hugo to pop my back into place again, but I don't think it's going to happen <laughs> for me. Okay. Does anybody else want to, <laughs> anybody else want to use the ones that have plot points for it? You go. Uh, I I still have plot points, but really the only one I have to buy down is injury, and I don't know if it's too soon to buy that down. I know. I mean, I gonna say, you are hitting I'd like me to buy down in a my really injury rough fashion. <laughs> that might jostle you awake a little bit more. Woo! You got one, um, uh. Sydney. <laughs> so, well, there you go. Then Sydney gets the first dibs. Yep. Okay, so you're gonna nice. drop yours down. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so the gold. If you're not taking it, I am. Point. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I will use it then, so that bruised is from a D10 to a D8. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh. Cause are you using it? No. Uh. Uh. No, oh, there's wait, another there's one. Two. Uh, there's two of them. Yes. Yes, I'm using it. My one okay. plot point. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. I just spat all over my computer screen. I think you're going to regret that. The game is fun. Yeah, I think I think you're going to regret that no matter what. But going from a D10 to a D8, I'm oh, that'll be tricky. I'm everything right now. Okay. Um, uh, Raya Pell. Uh, Rio. Yeah. You see, um, when you touch Hugo, um, you see uh, him lighting. You see him saying burn. And 
fire erupting from somebody from this guy's eyes, nose, and ears. That's kind of a repeat of last time where he helps, he catches him, and then he freezes in place for a minute, and then he just snaps back, uh, wait a second or two to make sure that someone else is holding him, and then he's going to step back and go, oh. I I, I got him, I got him. Yeah. Have you thought about gloves? I am wearing gloves right now. It's just without the potion, it's not enough. Who? (laughs) What? And he just puts his hand on his head and starts, like, rocking back and forward. I I have so many questions for you right now. Oh, he, oh, you, 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 he has many questions for you all, but you realize that it might not be the, the good time maybe, maybe right maybe now. Maybe we'll get a drink after this. Yeah, yeah something very strong. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need it. Um, okay, so Christina. Um, yes. Scarlet. Scarlet was able to land, dragged herself down. Uh, you're on the ground now. Um, you, lost, you lost hold of Kassar during the during the the tumble, but uh, because sh- her branches didn't catch you at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but you are on the ground. What are you doing? Who is the closest to me? Um, with how everything would have gone and happened, it have it would have to be Casare. Yeah. Unless, oh. unless there was some, unless there's a, um, unless there is a, actually, there are some bystanders around. Um, I still me, think Casare would probably. Be yeah, Casare is going to be closer. Okay, they, they they would have fallen in like basically the same probably meter area. Yeah. So, she's going to. She does a lot of leaping and jumping. She's going to run or somehow get to Casare. Okay. Leap, jump, whatever. And she's going to punch her right in the face when she gets there. Okay. All right. Maybe the throat, not the face, the throat, because that will shut her up. Is that a damn fucking thing? Okay. So. That's actually a good point. She hasn't. Yeah, she hasn't actually said anything, yeah. but <laughs> she's just been running away from you. Um. Okay, go ahead and uh, I don't have a throat punch distinction. <laughs> nope, there's not. A, it's not a thing. It's just uh, <laughs> it's just physical fight. Um, it's just physical fight. Um, vampire. and vampire. Um, and. Uh, And add a, uh... Yeah, I've got a D12 overconfidence, D8 injured, and a D6 influence. Yep. Uh, you can add the D12 and the D8 to your roll also. She's going to just punch her in the face. Okay. Okay. I can roll now? Yep, go ahead and roll. Then she gets to roll so you can, uh... That's not bad for all those dice. You might get it. No. Yeah, so uh Kassir is not a fighter. Yep. Uh and after with all this training she's been doing the last couple months, uh first instinct at this point has actually been trained well enough to react uh with her druid with with the magic. Um yep. however, she's not trying to fight Scarlet. That'll just piss her the fuck off more. Uh so her vines, still there, they're behind her from where they tried to catch her, are just going to kind of, like, wrap around her middle and her wrists and just kind of, like, yank her backwards. Yank you backwards? Yeah, because here. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. And, uh, well, let's see how well it works first, and then we'll see which the hell she yells at the others. Yep, you get to add a D10 into your roll for her hunger. Okay, uh, I think I'll just let the dice roll as they are. It's only a nine. Nice. Oh, hey, look at that 17. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So yeah, and the 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 her vines grab Kassir and they kind of like yank her backward and form like a half cocoon around her. Uh as Kassir kind of yells at the other, somebody get this crazy cunt off of me. <laughs> now she talks. Yeah. Now she did. Uh, okay. <laughs> She's it's very in character. The fuck but, am yeah. I supposed to do? <laughs> right. Well, you know what, folks? I think at that at that point. It's a, it's, a, it's a good break point at that point. Um, so we're gonna take we're gonna take a uh, ten minute break, and then we'll be back to see uh, how this all how this all resolves. Okay, folks. Hi. Uh, so uh, this is where I'm gonna take a moment and talk about uh, Cortex Prime. And actually, it's pretty much any role-playing game that have plot points. Uh, you've seen plot points used for to step up a distinction uh, or step down a distinction to gain one, uh, heal a complication or remove a complication. Uh, and you've also used them, you've also seen them used so that the uh, players can instantiate one of their polka dies. Uh, so the what the other use is, you can use them to make a plot change or an addition to past to a past uh, plot thing that happened. In this case, uh, we're going to go back to a conversation that happened over the previous sometime over the previous three months between uh, Scarlett and Sydney. Go ahead. Hey, Sydney, can I talk to you? <clears throat> um, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, on your mind. Remember, I remember when I bit Kassar. Mm hmm. I think, uh, didn't you also bite me or get close to? We're not really talking about you, Sydney, right now. We're talking about Kassar. Okay. All right. I guess that's fair. Anyways, I don't want to be a vampire mm -hmm. but it seems like she has a tendency to change my mind so what i'm concerned about is i don't want to get to the point where i want to kill her again because i don't want to be a red court vampire mm -hmm. so yeah i have compiled with my research assistant a I'm going to give you this. It's this vial of blood that is packed with a lot of plasma and platelets. It would be like top shelf blood, which is disgusting, but I think you get what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So to sate the hunger, but without yes. actually feeding yeah. a person. Yes. And it would, and what I'm hoping, and that's what I've been working over these months, is to get to the point where I see you and I don't mm -hmm. see you as prey. But I, the other part of me, this part of me sees you as, oh, that's right. Okay. So we've got a good 50-50 chance. Like if you mm -hmm. offer it to me that I don't eat you, but that, hey. That would be proper. Yeah. Um, how, how would I get you to, well, you just like take the vial as a shot or? Yes, but I think okay. what would work is I'm assuming if I'm, Fighting someone we are against, you're not going to stop me because you need oh, me to help. Right, right. But if um, at any moment my actions are going to turn to become a full vampire, I need to kill someone. And I don't yeah. want that. So yeah. what you would need to do is somehow get my attention and cross your fingers that I recall this deal we've made mm -hmm. and I'll. I've been doing some meditating and focusing, and then you t you give it to me, mm -hmm. and I know what should happen with it. Is, is there anything you use while you meditate, like a certain kind of music or a word or anything like that? No, but I okay. really like this song that maybe you could sing. Uh, I don't think anybody wants me to sing, but what's the song? What? I really like... Um, the song, um, what one do I use all the time? You know what? 
um, row, row, row your boat row really, that really helps. centers me that. because my dad used to take me fishing in Edinburgh. Okay. And All he right. would sing row, row, row your boat over and oh, over. Okay. So um, I think that if you get my attention mm -hmm. while singing row, row, row your boat, that will work. Okay. Um, I mean, stranger things have happened, so. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I Just... hope we don't get to that point. But, Me too. Uh, I'm not the kind of karaoke kind of person, but. Uh, yeah. Hey, hopefully it'll work. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I just really appreciate this. And if you could keep this between us and like not like Sarah know, and I'll tell Hugo once I see it. I haven't seen him in a long yeah, time. I, know. So, I, I don't know what he's been doing. He's probably yeah. mixing something right together for his clients. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Some well, thanks, Ben. Or something. Hey. Um, Nice touch on the singing. Uh, <laughs> I did not expect this that, Christina. Horrible. But yeah. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Um, okay. So that cost her a plot point to establish that conversation in the past and that she'd given him that particular uh, resource. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Um, so, um, the, uh, so we are back. Kassir had just, um, Elder Akant? Yeah. Yep. Right back uh, in the moment with that line. Yeah. We're back into the moment with that line. <laughs> um, and, um, well, actually, at this point, I believe it uh, somebody get this crazy cunt off of me. Yes. Uh, what is uh, um, just, there's Sydney and Ryapol there and Rio there. Yeah. Um, slowly waking up. Hugo. Yes. And you're hey, uh, slowly waking up. Uh, what is Sydney doing? Hey, I Rio. Uh, do you happen to know, uh, row, row, row your boat? Uh, I mean, not really. Uh, I mean, if you if you start it, maybe I can, I can back you up. But it's not. Well, here not I'm very gonna reach into my coat and be like, I really hope this didn't break after all the tumbles I've took. Uh, all right, I'm gonna. Well, that be the luck. Uh, in Scarlet's general direction, uh, try to project as much as Sydney can at the moment. Okay. And uh, just be like, row, row, row your boat gently Ooh. down the stream. Na, 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 na. Thank you. <laughs> Life is but a dream. Okay. Um, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And I'll just keep what Go are we on. doing? You how gently down this? What the? What? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna give. What the fuck you... am I singing? <laughs> right. Yeah. You get to roll a social. Roll I social. Feel like Hugo wakes up to that. Yeah. <laughs> social perform, and your police officer distinction. Awesome. Uh, because this is the talking down, um, somebody, and you get an extra D6 from um. Well, you yeah, yeah, you get an extra D6 yeah. from Rio's help. Awesome. Uh, perform, where is that? Ooh, a solid D4. Awesome. Yeah, I, I <laughs> trust me, I, I, as she was started talking, I pulled up your character sheet because right, I yeah. was curious myself. <laughs> Should have picked like Baby Shark since right. she was <laughs> that one. I know <laughs> that one because my little daughter is way too into right now. <laughs> Saw that on repeat for 30 minutes today. But, oh. shark, do, do, oh, do, 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 do. Stop, stop, please. I don't have, I, that's one I don't have in my head. I uh, never, I don't hey, I got a one. one. And that was the perform check was the one, by the way. So. <laughs> uh, okay. But, uh, but it was a 15 in total. It is a 15 in total. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, 
Scarlet. Yes. Go ahead and give me a uh give me a mental um I would say mental and focus to try and fixate on what he's saying. Oh, these are pretty good for me. So you got, you got a 10, you got a 15. Actually, sorry, let me, ref let me fix that. Um, Hugo's got a D8 injured, right? Uh, D12. Not, sorry, not Hugo, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, Sydney. Sydney's got a D8 bruised, yeah. D8 bruised. Um, and now his pride is probably bruised as well. Yep, well, the, the, the D8 Wait, end. Wait, he had that? Yeah. A little bit. Very, very little bit. Still had a little bit left, huh? <laughs> okay. So, okay. All right. Um, Scarlet? Uh, it is up to Scarlet. He is, he has pierced your hunger. And you're able to recognize that, uh, that mantra that you taught him. If for nothing else, I'm not sure if that's what she actually uses or you just decided to. To, to mess with him, but. You to know, mess with him and see if it would work. <laughs> <laughs> um. um She's going to turn to him, and it's enough oh, oh. of a a joke on him, the row, row, row you're about, that she's <laughs> like, <laughs> she just kind of laughs to herself, and then she, like, locks onto him and starts heading that direction, but not, like, in a calm, she's great kind of way. She just knows that I, I recognize this. And I know that I he has something. Okay. All right. So she is stalking up to you. What do you do next? Uh, I just noticed I got a gold gift, apparently. So yep, yep. that's awesome. So that's uh, another plot point. <laughs> yes, that's another yes. plot point. Sweet. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to just hold up the vial and kind of wince a little bit, be like, this is either going to really hurt or hopefully work. With my luck, it's just going to suck. <laughs> For what it's worth, Kassir is readying vines to yank him out of the way again. Right. Yep. Does Kassir try hear to him? Row, row, row your boat. Okay, yeah, right. heard him. yeah. Um, in fact, uh, Hugo, go ahead and give me a uh, roll your double, double your body. And just set the difficulty. Okay. Come on. Clear. That is way too many dice to roll. Twelve. Okay. I think that beats me. Yes, it does. All right, so you wake up to hearing somebody singing about row, row, about rowing a boat. Row, row, row. Who is like a cat? Dream. Merrily, <laughs> merrily, 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 merrily um, life is but I'll, a I'll look around and be like, what? What's going on? <laughs> okay. Um, you hear that? Um, so all you do is hold out the sealed vial? Uh, yeah. Um, was I supposed to uncork it? I can't remember. I think so. Maybe I'll 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 un pop the thing on it so that it'll be easier for her to just drink it. I guess. Okay. All right. That uh, not like we rehearsed this necessarily. <laughs> that is that is a fair point. You didn't. Uh... Okay, you can smell the blood now. So, <clears throat> you... she's 
going to pick up speed. Yep. But uh, she really can't tell the difference between whether it's Sydney that smells like that or the vial. Okay. After the amount of damage Sydney has taken, probably a bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, there is blood or there is there is blood on Sydney too. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um okay. Give me uh Well, you know what? Uh Sydney, did you stop singing? Uh, no, singing? I'm gonna keep going Keeps. and kind of like motion, okay. like move the vial a little bit to be like, oh, for this, not me. No, for this. Okay, give me, give me one more roll of the song. <laughs> uh, All right, Scarlet, you can go ahead and roll another mental plus. Uh, Rio, are you still singing with me on this one? Yes, but he's slowly like walking back away from <laughs> you, seeing that she's coming right for you. He's Rowan uh, is looking on the side and like, are you sure what you're doing? Row, row, what it was. Yeah, so, you go, you feel yourself being dragged with him. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like, row, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Gently and down the stream. compelled to join in the singing? Yeah. <laughs> row, 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 row. <laughs> For what it's worth, Cassir is not singing along. She is watching this okay. very intently. Vines are kind of like wiggling out of the ground behind uh, Sydney, just waiting to grab and yank him out of her way. Yeah. All right. Uh, Scarlet, go ahead and give me uh, another focus plus mental roll. 13. Uh, yeah, it was 13, was it what I got? You got 13, yes. she got 9. Yes. And you guys did it. Do you get anything when you roll max on a die? No. Uh, I didn't think so. Right. A feeling of satisfaction. Roll 20 just highlighted the number, so that's why I was yeah. like, mm, maybe that's special. Yeah. It does that for <laughs> certain set generically because some yep. systems will say like right. hey you got up exploding on that yep. or whatever right that's fair <laughs> so scarlet does go up and grab the grab the vial and down it yeah um, hold my hand away be like mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she's gonna sit almost okay. intoxicated and just be confused and yeah. um um okay so this point, everything, you know, Scarlet blops herself down. Hugo is groggy slowly, yeah, you know, groggy sitting there. Um, Sydney and Kasser, go ahead and give me uh, notice rolls. Right. What is my Yep, yep. You gonna set that uh, difficulty there, Tom? I probably should. Yeah. Would a police officer help me with this notice? Yes, it would. Awesome. Age before beauty. Fourteen. Oh, all right, all right, thanks. <laughs> Oh, hey, still got a one, but the roll wasn't too bad. Yep. 13, at least. What do I get for the one? I feel uh, like it's more of a game got a show now for Sydney. It's just like, yeah, I got another prize. All right. Yep. Um, <laughs> I don't have to give you a complication, so I'm going to yeah. um, pass on it for right at yeah. this this moment. But um, that you hear sirens. I'm fired. Um, <laughs> you hear um, police officers I'm on their fantastic. way. It's, what maybe it's just me, of... but we should get the hell out of here, no? Yeah, because no. just kind of looks around at the others. It's I'm getting better the fuck if out of here. we stay here. I'm getting It'll the fuck out of here. It'll be easier to explain. What was that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. Sydney? You tell Aside her the when she's there's evidence of blood and whatnot probably from you everywhere. You tell her, she points at Scarlet, when she's 
back in her right mind again that she needs to stay the fuck out of my store and away from me. And if she wants anything, she uh, comes through you or Hugo. I'm getting the fuck out here, and I'd like to not see her face again. Scarlet hears her voice. And Scarlet... And there, uh, you're going to tell leaving. her that yourself. That and I'm going to She's pull... not... Her vehicle uh, isn't here. She's just... Your vehicle is your well. Your vehicle is in she the is area. She is not. Hers did not. She oh, did not drive there. here. She was she's with not. Sydney. Ah, so you're just going down the street, okay? Yeah. Nope. She's just walking away. Okay. Yep. She's Scarlet's not gonna, gonna stop and listen yeah. to Scarlet. She's just. Scarlet, I'm, I'm just gonna lift my back. hand and say, "I hear you." Just so you know, and I heard what you called me. She stops for half a second and then just keeps walking. She doesn't respond. She doesn't turn. She just keeps going. Probably a good idea. I'm just going to take the vial back. Yeah. Yep. There's a less chance that they'll search me for anything weird. <laughs> um, Do you still have that dagger? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll probably have to take that from you, too, for momentarily. Yeah. I should really just go. Uh, don't want to have a good relationship with police and stuff. Uh, and I really don't know I could explain and vaguely gesture to the destroyed building. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Uh, if you want, go with Kassar. Oh, no, I'm just going to make my own way back home. Uh, okay. I'll see if I can get in touch with uh, any points out. You go uh, did, in a do few I have days. Your number? Did you give that to me? I did not. And he just walks away. <laughs> okay. Smart choice. Smart it's man. Fine. Don't get dragged into this totally party show any further. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to quickly put things like the knife and the vial and everything in my trunk and some sort of uh, bag or case so it's not readily visible. Okay. Uh, and close the trunk. Okay. Um... And then go over to Hugo and be like, Scarlet, you want to help me with Hugo, please? Um, Hugo, by the, the way, s still has a chain on his ankle. Yes. Um, Which is fine. It's it's a bloody chain. Yes. Yeah. Bloody chain. We uh, Most of us are covered in blood and various things, and we have a collapsed brewery right next to us. So, uh, Scarlet will stand up to help Maybe him, not but... collapsed, but heavily damaged. But she keeps, since, do you have a sweater or a jacket, something? Look at me, I'm glowing, like a glow worm. Oh, damn it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I still have that same raincoat in my car Great. that I had. Great. When we Come met. Come on, Hugo. You gotta help a little bit, yeah, buddy. Go grab it, I think it's on the back seat. Okay. I don't fight, you know, I try and help, but I'm not. Hugo, do you want a, a protein bar or something? Or? I want to go home. Don't want to be here. I understand that. I don't want to talk to anybody for a little bit. Uh, you shouldn't have to. I'm hoping I can do the talking. Okay, so what? What is the uh, what's happening as far as okay? Because she exited the scene. Rio exited the scene. You given Scarlet the the raincoat. Is Hugo sticking, are Scarlet and Hugo sticking around, or are they exiting the scene? Hugo has no idea where he is, so yes, he's sticking around with somebody that's got a car. Scarlet, are you able to help me load Hugo into your car? Yes, yes. Awesome. But she would stay around because... Well, yeah, we're not, we're not leaving yeah. still. It's just, yeah. you'll, after I talk to people, you'll be able to get directly to the hospital. It'll make right. sense that I'm sending the... Uh, person yeah. we just saved from the building with the doctor okay yeah um okay so um the fire department and police officers show up um, also an ambulance shows up. Um, 
and uh, the uh, uh, let's see. You know what? Give me a give me a double social roll. Uh, right. Sydney. Double social. Actually, let me re-roll that because. Uh, and double physical <sighs> rolls are just uh, that you can't like do a skill or anything like that or distinction with it. Yeah, okay. this. Uh, generally, if I just say for double physical, it's just whatever it happens to right. be. Yeah. Okay, but cool. give me two seconds mm -hmm. here with this. Uh, so that, and you've got you're still got a D eight hurt. D6, no patience. <laughs> yep, I do the D6, no patience. Not okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> so go ahead and um, you can do, yeah. Okay. Right. Doesn't matter. You beat, you beat me. Oh, sweet. Um, okay. You do know the cut. You do know one of the cops. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of show my oh. credentials or whatnot as, I don't think I have a physical badge maybe i do as pro you would have a badge know. yes you okay. would, you're still you're still yeah i'd be holding that out <laughs> yeah, you're still a police officer yeah um it's just you got you got dumped to the uh yeah <laughs> to the parole division um anybody inside uh nobody that i know I mean, there there might be. It's a big building. There probably is, to be honest. Actually, there was quite a few college students and oh yeah, but nobody people. that I know. That's true. That was a true <laughs> statement. That is fair. You're right. Okay, you're right. That's true. Nobody that you know. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Motions to the to the uh, to the fire. To the the fireman, you gotta search it. Anybody dangerous in there? Sure. Uh, it, it a lot of things happened really quick. We came here because we investigated leads that led to us trying to figure out where Hugo went. One of my charges, who disappeared a while back, and uh, led me here. I didn't really think. It was going to be that strong of a lead as it was, and we found him chained in the basement. Help okay, I... and he motions to the uh, officer to to the fire and stop, and they call in SWAT. Um, this been a this was a kidnapping. That that's what it ended up becoming. Yeah, I I thought maybe Hugo came here himself. I was not expecting to see him chained in a basement. Okay, and he calls SWAT. Um, uh, right now, Hugo is in the doctor's vehicle. I'm hoping to take him to the hospital as soon as I can because I don't know how long it's been since he's eaten. Um, he motions over to the the paramedics to uh, and they grab a gurney. To over to the uh, doctor's vehicle. Um, now this is uh, Doctor McReynolds. Yeah, she's also one of my charges, but she's very good at what she does. The doctors on probation. It's a ridiculous yeah. thing. It's because I know these idiots. Hey. Yeah, if you can figure out any information about what the hell happened here, I would love to know. But uh, still trying to piece the whole thing together myself. I have a question. Since mm -hmm. she um, had blood sprayed in her face, is yep. there dried blood? On me? Oh yeah, I probably have dried blood on me. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming yeah. Hugo probably has a bit too. Is that all of somebody else's blood? Uh, um. At this point, I don't know whose blood is whose anymore. Yeah, I was. All just I know doing... is I hurt. I could probably go use to go to the hospital myself. 
Um, yeah, I was just helping get Hugo out here, and I think he's pretty beat up. I'd actually like to get him to the hospital. Um, Are the so windows could... down in the car? Well, it's you're being way? loaded into a paramount. Yeah, you, okay, yeah. so, so if I'm here, that, so I'd like to get to the hospital as well, and then I'd like to go <laughs> home. Um, he, he looks at the he looks at the uh, he looks at the paramedics. Uh, make sure he's stable. And they, you know, they check you over, um, and you are uh, exhausted. And, yeah, basically the, the the things. You are stable though. Ah, uh, Charlie's going to ask them. Can you please head. cut that chain off his foot so he has some dignity going into the hospital? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want it in my bus either. Uh, the yeah. uh, paramedic says, "I got a, a the fire department um, gives it gives the fire department something to do." Um, I, they I, cut, I, cut I actually mumbles like, "I want that chain back at some point." <laughs> um, okay, buddy. He might have grown sentimental to it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Maybe it's like a Wilson thing. Was <laughs> Castaway released at this point? I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> but no, it just yeah, he will be like, I want the chain back, all of yeah. it. <laughs> I'm not so, fighting them. I'm not fighting them taking it off of me. I just tell them I want it back at some point. So, um, at this point. Uh, a sergeant shows up. Um, SWAT goes in, discovers all the missing college students um, who just mysteriously up and decided to run out of the uh, their classes in the middle of the day that they were hunting for. Um, then there was then they find all these, you know, Homeless people in there. Uh, the Roger's dead body. And his real name is Roger. Yeah, the evil Roger, though. The yeah. evil Roger, yes. It's not it's not the <laughs> it's not the good werewolf Roger. Yeah, it looks a lot like our Roger, but with a goatee. <laughs> yeah. No, he does not. Um and they the find <laughs> the hump was prosthetic. Oh. <laughs> um and they find where uh and they find where Hugo was trapped. They also find an illegal brewery. Um uh it's illegal in the way in that it's producing way too much uh at one time to be considered a um it's not illegal. a home brew. It's not homebrew. It's too much. Um, so, all that said, um, you guys are um, stuck being uh, being questioned. Uh, all three of you do end up going to the hospital. Uh -huh. You do have the two Scarlet um and Hugo both have police officers with them. Cause at best your thing. Um so I'm going to need from uh, you get quest uh, Sydney gets questioned a lot. Tag team uh, questioning um, by some, you know, relatively smart, uh, smart people. Uh, so What?
And that's yep, Sydney is fired. I think I think that's what this <laughs> what that role will be. Um, that role basically means well, it's a nine and a seven or the highest. Right. I only get to keep. I only get to keep right. the top. Right. Um. Actually, no. Actually, in this case, I would so, use a plot point to pull the next one in. So a six as well. So that, twenty-two. Uh, with or no, sorry, my seven. complications. Yeah. In so there too? Your complications were in there too, yes. Okay, cool. Um, so that would be a, uh, yeah, so 23, 14, the two sevens, and the nine. Yep, 23. 23. 23, um, okay. 23 and uh, you get to, you've, the trick is you've got to do it without lying. Because mm-hmm. so I'm horrible at that. You're horrible at lying. And I know it. Yep. So go ahead and give me mental police officer. Um, uh, does punching above my weight class help me with this one? <laughs> Just change it to biting off more than I can chew. Uh, you can. You can only. You can only use one distinction per per thing. Right. So it's up to you what you'd rather do. Uh, police officer makes more sense. It was just... Yep. No. Yeah. Uh, Okay. And uh, does it have to be influence? Well, what else were you thinking of adding in? Focus instead of influence? Yes. I would let you do focus because you're going to, you're focused on not, you know. Yeah. Focused on not, you know, trying to give away too much, trying to still tell the truth. Yep. And uh, as I'm talking through, I'm going to tell him, I was like, look, I could really use some ibuprofen or something right now. I'm in a decent amount of pain. Yeah. And I'm trying desperately just to remember everything that happened. And you got a gold gift, Sydney. Ooh. Got a plot point. Oh, yes. Another plot point. Uh, plot well, point depending or a point. on how I roll this, I will yep. likely add a polka die. But... And I'll let you know that Scarlet's not helping you at all because she's still really pissed. So she's right. just losing it on these police oh, yeah. officers. Actually, at this point, you guys have been separated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think Skylar and Hugo are probably either on their way to the hospital or oh, already okay. there at this yeah, line we're, we're, This is definitely going to become a uh, prisoner's dilemma yeah. kind of situation. Yeah. <laughs> um, hmm, do I want to spend... I should probably spend a plot point to stage up. Police officer. To you, it's up to you what you want to do. You want to stage that up to a D12, or do you want to add the polka die that you have? Well, depending I might on... do the polka die as well, ah, okay. depending on how this roll goes. So I'll stage up that and see how I do. Because I have to beat a 24? 23. 23. So 11. Do you have any um, polka die? I do. Uh, the best I got is a D8, though, and I ain't going to do it. Yeah. Um, can you also spend a... No, like If I roll a polka die, I get to keep the polka die as well, or I have to choose? It gets to keep as well as how we've always done it. Yeah, okay. you get to keep it. And I can spend a plot point to also keep a third, like another die? Yes. Okay, because I have two plot points. You um, need to hit an 8, right. though. Yeah, I would have to get the eight in order to do that. So, but if I don't do it, that is really bad. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll that d8, and uh, here's hoping that it helps. So that because uh, this roll will disappear, so I have a four that I might add in. With yep. The, yeah. No, you uh, can. It still it still shows up in the thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh man! Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I will spend that last plot point to get yes. what I need to. Nice. Wow. Oh. Okay. So you you managed to By the skin of my teeth spike it in just the right way. You managed to stymie them. They are. They are. They're mad, angry, uh, and then they, but then they call your boss, 
mm-hmm. and who bounces them to the judge, mm-hmm. who then basically overrides their anger. And at that point, um, after a while, while you guys are both getting, well, Scarlet at this point isn't injured. She just needed to get cleaned up. So at the point at which, you know, Scarlet gets cleaned up, uh, she comes out, discovers that the police presence is gone. Uh, Hugo's, Hugo's cop that was kind of questioning him about what he underwent eventually disappears. I, I was very uh, not very forthcoming. <laughs> not yeah, I was... hard case. I just I'm not talking to people. I want to just get cleaned yeah. up and I want to go home. Yeah, uh, they're not letting you go home. You're gonna have to spend the night. Observation and all that. Observation probably. and all that. Yes. Um. Not happy, Hugo. Not happy. Okay. <laughs> so, um. Kazir, you yes, you do. I think you head back to the bookstore. No, okay. She heads over to Mike's. She heads to Mike's. Well, okay. I think she needs to stop at the bookstore to get her car. But she yes, yeah, she would. She's just gonna let. Uh, we haven't determined who exactly she hired, but she did manage to find somebody to run the bookstore when she's not there. Yep. Okay. Uh, doing what she used to do. Uh, so she's just gonna leave them there and, and she's just gonna go to mike's she's hurting she's got a d8 injury yep nope that's It'd be um, hilarious if rio was the person that was working at the bookstore <laughs> i know it wouldn't make sense because he was with us but yeah in a way, that would um, be hilarious. <laughs> okay um mm. okay you uh you go to uh Mike's he he pulls out the over you pull in and he looks at you and goes you know the <laughs> typical what the hell happened? Uh <sighs> bit of a long story. We found Hugo. Let's where? You're I mean you know Uh you know that brewery I was asking about. Yeah. There. Some free kid locked him up in the basement and was trying to get him to do some potion shite. I'm not... I don't know. I'm tired. And... She just kind of, kind of, like... As they go inside, she she does does the the whole kind of just... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then just, like, everything just kind of, like, spills forth. Especially how bloody pissed off she is that Scarlet keeps trying to blame her for Scarlet's fucking problems. She's blaming me for her not being able to control her fucking hunger. And then she wants to be pissed off at me when I call her a cunt because she's attacked me three fucking times. And she just kind of like works herself up again and then just kind of like deflates. And she's like, and I think I broke a rib. First, we're going to take care of that. Because you know we're in we're in Greenville, There's not a whole. I want to, the, the emergency room is a ways off, and I'm not sure I trust oh, it. She yeah, kind of like she kind of like stretches and like hooks at it a little bit, and like oh well, it might just be bruised. Yeah, he he, he checks it. Um, like yeah, pulls I, up her shirt, looks at the blossoming yeah. bruise across her rib cage. Yeah, yeah I'll go get. Or the more tape. scarlet slammed her into the fucking ground again. Yep. Um. How long are you on probation for? You know what the hell with it? I'm going to talk to that. I'm going to talk to that guy. That would be nice. <laughs> okay, now he gets really concerned because right. you let him, you let him, you, you let him get away with being the overprotective boyfriend, which normally you yeah. shut down. <laughs> she, yeah, no, she's completely just done. Let somebody else deal with it. Please just take care of it for me. Or Mike, right? Is his name? Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. So 
we're at a point uh, where I think we're going to end it. I'm probably going to do to try over the next week to do a one on one with each uh, with uh, with each person for things that uh, that happened as an aftermath of this. Um, Hugo, your partner was discovered by SWAT. He was in far worse shape than you were. Uh, being held in one of the vats. Oh, jeez. Um, and uh, so you get to uh, talk to him and talk to the kid that uh, made some changes to your business while he was uh, while he was running it while you were gone. Uh, so, um, so that's tonight's stream. Hope you all enjoyed the end of this. Uh, particular storyline about the uh, the long reach of the seven laws. Um, now, this since this was so public, there probably will be a visit from everybody's favorite warden. Yep, uh, Dimitri Blankoff. Oh, I hope he comes. I hope he comes. <laughs> uh, yeah, he should have been there. I have no desire to deal with him. Um, but but that said. Like I said, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, the uh, So what we've got going on on REM right now, we've just, during the last week, we finished off a Kickstarter. We hit the 10K. Yep. We hit, the, we, we hit the 10K, which means that we get to uh, release uh, a source book. source book, which also means I have to, uh, once that source book is done, I have to run my first D and D campaign this millennia. Um, mm. Actually, probably you know what? There. We're gonna go. This I'm gonna run my first D and D can uh, game this millennia using that campaign as a source book. Uh, nice. nice. So, so that that'd be awesome. <laughs> I think okay, we've got well, a lot of people trying to call dibs. <laughs> yeah, people right. calling dibs already. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Not a spot in that game. Me. Yeah. Um, next week, like I said, we're going to start off with uh, the the storyline is going to be Sullied Silver. Uh, and you can oh, all, nice. people who know Dresden can take a, take a good guess as to what that's going to be around. And it's uh, not silver, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's totally silver. Yeah, it's totally silver. Although they're well, totally not, not my example. Oh yeah, your example. Yeah. Uh, the uh, so what we've got coming up tomorrow night at let me just pull scroll up. I keep so Tuesday nights we have Chicago missions and Shadowrun Fifth Edition at uh, seven p.m. Central. Oh. Uh, Thursday eight p.m. Central. We got the D&D &D Episodicals 3, Stormlord's Wrath. Last week, we had our first character death. Uh, only three uh, spots in. Um, but don't worry. She gets to raise. She gets to uh, come back as a wraith. Uh, so that should be fun. Uh, Fridays. Oh. Uh-oh. I think we've lost sure. Tom. Yeah, we might Friday have. game night. Yeah, uh, Friday game night. We were supposed to do Freaky Friday last, or uh, Funny Freak Out last Friday. That has been postponed. I may reschedule for this week. Otherwise, uh, I haven't thought that far ahead as to what I want to do for March. So we'll figure something out. It's a toss up every week. Right. We, tr we tried to do uh, Among Us, and apparently, playing Among Us on a patch day. Terrible idea. <laughs> Bad idea. Because people kept getting kicked from the surfer. Oof. And then uh, Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Central, we have D and D Episodicals Two: I Dragon of Ice Spires Peak. Mm -hmm. I believe they're fighting the dragon at this point. I didn't get to tune in this past Saturday, so I'm not certain. He said, and "Last then... I heard, they were." And it could be the finale yeah. this week. Yeah, yeah, they, they, um, they are getting there. Nice. And then uh, Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central is 
like clockwork, the campaign setting of the successful Kickstarter that just completed this week. Uh, run by uh, Danny. Oh, is he back? Is he not? And Tom is back, I hope. Yes. Yay. No. Ish. Choppy. Maybe. It's choppy, but he's Possibly. there. Yeah. Okay, well, I think, I think thank you, uh, Aaron, for I think you to the rest. Uh, hey, thanks, everybody. Uh, hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.